Princess Eugenie looks lovely in the most classic dress money can buy. The daughter of Prince Andrew looked beautiful in her new polka dot dress. We love seeing our favorite sisters Princess Beatrice and Eugenie double up, and yesterday the royal duo stepped together at Haven House Children's Hospice as they attended a special garden party. In a video that mother of two Eugenie posted on Instagram, the sisters can be seen engaging with children and planting a tree. We couldn't help but notice the royal's fabulous polka dot dress in this season's hottest shade, burgundy. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The dress, although new to Eugenie's wardrobe, is a past season buy from high-end brand Zimmerman, one of the royal's most loved and frequently worn labels. It's a great, classic shape on the 34-year-old, boasting gathered cuffs, a shirt-like shape and a waist-defining belt which made the royal's petite waist look super small. Beatrice looked beautiful too, she rocked the Enya midi dress from Airdem. Her floaty frock featured a puffball-style skirt with long sleeves and a tailored waistline, and she added her favorite Chanel flats. Eugenie said in her video about the event, Today I was so lucky to visit Haven House Hospice with my sister. Haven House Children's Hospice in Woodford Green, London, fund specialist care to children who have life-limiting or life-threatening conditions. It was so incredible to see the caring work they do and meet some of the children and families whose lives are changed by the care and support they receive here. During their joint outing, the princesses took the time to plant a commemorative tree in the hospice's garden, which is also home to an arboretum of more than 100 trees planted by notable public figures, including Margaret Thatcher and Sir Winston Churchill. Reflecting on the event, Eugenie, who is married to Jack Brooksbank, said, seeing the strength and resilience of the children and their families today has been deeply moving. This hospice not only provides vital care but also creates a space where joy and laughter can flourish, even in the most challenging times. In other news, Andrew has found himself on the verge of being evicted from the luxurious royal digs when it was revealed in 2019 that he had been acquaintances with the deceased paedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew was named in the document dump that was released by Epstein in January, which was an additional blow in the midst of his fall from grace. It would appear that the monarch, who is 75 years old, is having a difficult time removing his brother, who has been involved in a scandal, from the property, despite the controversy. In a statement to the Daily Beast, a source stated that Andrew might sit tight and run out the clock. It is Andrew's hope that his brother would thrive and live a long life. When it comes to the monarchy, he is quite faithful. However, the fact that Andrew is more than a decade younger than his brother is not exactly a state secret, according to the insider who added this information. According to the insider, the reason that Charles desires this distraction at this point in his reign is a tremendous mystery to Andrew's pals, the source added further. The fact that I don't believe anyone other than Charles would care about where Andrew lives gives the impression that it is both juvenile and vengeful. Buckingham Palace has been contacted by the Post in an effort to obtain a statement. According to reports, Andrew has been steadfast in his refusal to relocate from his extravagant royal residence to Frogmore Cottage, which is currently vacant as a result of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being compelled to hand over the keys. The couple, who live in Montecito, California, moved out of the luxurious five-bedroom property in June 2023, and the home has not been occupied by any new tenants since then, according to the fact that the annual sovereign grant was disclosed in July. According to insiders within the palace, Andrew intends to leave the lease to his daughters, princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, so that they would be able to make use of the property after he passes away. An individual who had previously served as a courtier stated to the source that the whole thing is a disaster and debating about it publicly is not helping the monarch. When all is said and done, Andrew will be required to receive something in order to relinquish the lease. However, it seems that Andrew's current property has seen better days than it is currently experiencing. 
it has been revealed that the disgraced royal has been neglecting payments to preserve the Grade II listed property, which has an annual maintenance cost of $503,000. According to reports, the scandal plagued scion of the late Queen Elizabeth, who was mentioned in the document dump that Jeffrey Epstein released in January, has been on the verge of being kicked out of Royal Lodge for a number of several years. As soon as his friendship with the deceased paedophile financier was brought to light in 2019, the Duke of York, who is 64 years old, has been trying to maintain his ownership of the property, which is valued at $37 million. According to Us Weekly, Andrew has been failing to make payments for the maintenance of the property, which requires an annual maintenance cost of $53,100. To add insult to injury, Royal analyst Ian Pelham Turner claims that Charles is having a difficult time regaining possession of the keys to the Grade II listed house. According to testimony provided by Pelham Turner to Fox News, Prince Andrew is battling very hard to stay a senior royal. The issue is that his house is in a disastrous state of disrepair. When it comes to spending money on Andrew, I believe Charles is of the opinion that it would not go down well. According to the information that he provided, on the other hand, it was purportedly said by the Queen on her deathbed to Charles to watch after Andrew, who was always thought to be her favourite son, he continued. King Charles is adamant that he can only afford to purchase such a magnificent house for William and, his, children, especially if it requires a significant amount of money to be spent on it, it has been stated that the Royal Lodge has been experiencing a wide range of problems, some of which include issues related to humidity and wear and tear throughout the entire structure. In addition to this, the structure is experiencing cracks that are becoming worse on the brickwork, as well as paint that is peeling and wall plaster that is flaking off, according to the outlet. Buckingham Palace has been contacted by the Post in an effort to obtain a statement. Following the signing of a leasing deal for a period of 75 years in 2004, the disgraced Duke of York has been residing at the Royal Palace, which is situated on the grounds of Windsor Castle, beginning in the year 2004. The Queen Mother had had ownership of the Royal Lodge up until the time of her passing in the year 2002. The property in Windsor, which has 31 rooms, is shared by Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, who was once his wife. It has been stated that Charles had ordered that his brother move out of the home and instead move into Frogmore Cottage, which is the royal residence that was once owned by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Since his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, publicly stripped him of his royal and military decorations, Andrew has maintained a low profile.